Hi there, this is Becca with Amazing Paper Grace, and I have a very small um, Becca bit for you today. It arises out of a question that many have asked me, and that's where I get some of my inspiration. So I wanted to show you how I put together one of my cards with a very inexpensive tool that I think everybody should have. Um, I'm working on a really simple card today that I need to pull together within um, an hour or so. And I have this very pretty paper that somebody sweet sent to me. It's Kanban um, paper, and it's sparkly, and it has butterflies all over it. Well, the butterflies are pretty big, and so when I make my card, I would really like for a lot of the butterflies to be visible because it's the beauty of the paper. So, with my cards, a lot of times I'll lay out a mock card before I actually make it. Um, it's easy to do, and I use it with parts from cards that were failed. So I have these little frames that I made that are my typical card sizes that I take to lay on a piece of paper like this to frame it before I decide what else is going on it. I really use these a lot when I have a piece of paper that I need to preserve an element of. So I've decided that my card is going to be 6x6, six six, and that's what size window I have here. So I played with this a little bit to find out how I could get one of the large butterflies to show up and not be covered up by an element that I'm going to put on my card. And so I'm going to end up cutting this paper right here. And um, so as not to destroy the beauty of... Um, all the butterflies I, I don't want to cover it up so I picked out a couple of elements these are from my bin of things I cut and didn't use so it'll be interesting to see if this card stays this way by the time I make it but I'm thinking to do something on the order of this and of course this is just a scrap of ribbon so I'm probably going to put ribbon across like that and up and down with a bow here. These are all pieces of cards that I didn't use. And then I'm going to go over the wider ribbon or paper, I don't know which yet, with something like this. So this is kind of how I put the elements together. This ribbon is going to be underneath and voila so I'm actually gonna go make my card now but I just wanted to show you these are wonderful tools this is just a piece of paper but I can't tell you how often it saves me and like I said I have them in every size of every card that I make so that I can lay things out and especially when uh, there's something that I want to highlight on the piece of paper like these beautiful bu beautiful butterflies so Thanks for stopping by today. Um, I will see you soon.